In today's video, we're taking a look at how to boil potatoes easy and simple. This is so simple, anyone could do. Everything that we use on the video, we're gonna leave a link on the description. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe. That does help us out a lot, thank you. So you woke up today with the desire to eat some potatoes. Or what really happened, you looked all around and the only thing you had left on the pantry was potatoes. Don't worry, no matter what brought you to this video, we've got your back. And the first thing that we do, we go ahead and clean the potatoes. And we do that by rinsing them with water. Now that they came from the spa and have a facelift, this is the first fork on the road. You can choose to boil them with the skin off or you can remove it. So if you choose to keep your potatoes with clothes or have them naked, that's up to you. But in our case, we like to see some skin, so we're gonna go ahead and peel them. And to do that, you can use a peeler, you can use a knife, a spoon, your fingers, your hands, a machine, somebody else's hand, whatever technique is up to you. If you choose to leave the skin on, then you wanna remove any black spots or any humps or bumps that you might find in that road. If using the peeler, you're gonna notice that at the end of the peeler, there's a little pointy part or curved part, and that's made to remove those bumps, black spots, and a pro tip, if you don't want your potatoes to change color or get darker, after peeling them, you can place them in a cold water bath and that would help prevent it. Now that we cold shocked the victims, I mean the potatoes, now we've gotten to the second fork on the road. And this is where you choose if you want to boil your potato whole, in halves, in quarters, in little dice forms. No matter what torture technique you choose, the smaller that you cut your potatoes, the faster they're gonna cook. So a whole potato may take from 20 to 25 minutes to cook. Half potatoes may take from 15 to 20, depending on their size. Quarters can take from 10 to 15. And dice ones may take from seven to 10. And remember, if you wanna preserve the color for the presentation that nobody's gonna judge, we can place them in a cold water bath and that assures that we're gonna get a tip at the end of the day. Now we've come to the most important part of the whole video. And this is where we pour the water in our pot that's gonna boil. And we just wanna place enough water to cover the potatoes by an inch of water. This helps prevent any boil over and also helps the potatoes to cook faster. A pro tip, you don't wanna overfill the pot and then place the potatoes and have water going everywhere and going from a cooking episode to a cleaning one. Now that we have the water in the pot, the second thing that we wanna do is add the salt. And usually the rule of thumb for boiling salt is per one pound of potato, we place one teaspoon of salt or about six grams. And even though that you can season your potatoes after cook, the best way to get it in there is using the salt in the water. So think of it of a wet brine. We go ahead and place the potatoes. Now that we have all our guests in the pool, we can go ahead and turn off the heat. And we're basically gonna place it in high until we get the water boiling. And in this entire process, we don't place a lid because you're just gonna have salty water all over your stove. And if you don't wanna get that look from those loved ones, family or friends in the household, we avoid that. Once we notice it's boiling, we can place our stove in medium low. Now, depending if you place your potatoes whole, cut or diced is the time that you're gonna need. But once you notice you're at the last five minutes of your timer, this is when we start checking. And you can do this in one minute interval. And just like everything in life, with practice, you're gonna get better at this. And we know this because you're awesome just like you are. And to do this test, we're basically gonna take a fork or a knife and puncture our victim. I mean, and test our potatoes. If you notice that the fork or knife goes in smoothly and easily, that means your potatoes are done. This means we can go ahead and discard the water. And a pro tip, this salty water, just like spaghetti water, could be thrown on weeds or plants that you wanna kill and it might help to kill them. We go ahead and turn off 
off the stove and what we like to do is place the potatoes back on an off stove for a few seconds or even a minute and what this does is remove any extra water on the potatoes which is a great technique for mashed potatoes or for salad and now your potatoes are done if you want to check out our video on how to do mashed potatoes we're going to leave a link on the description now you can pat yourself on the back for a job well done you become the master of the potato challenge of this generation don't forget if you like the video please give us a thumbs up that really helps if you have any questions place them in the comment section below either someone in the status box team or someone in the youtube community can help you out with an answer don't forget to subscribe follow us on social media thank you for watching and here's a link to our latest video